Sean Weatherspoon's have now, uh, or Weatherspoon, how you pronounce his surname, um, has uh, announced or given an update on his ASICS, ASICS collaboration. I'm not sure what happened with Sean Weatherspoon and Nike. Can someone explain in the comments when you see this clip later? Um, did he get ousted? Did they fall out? Like, I'm not sure what happened. Because usually Nike, if they got like, um, if they get some good, res if they get a good, response from a collaboration especially with somebody like sean who's quite well regarded in a sneaker head world and has a cool shop and people seem to like him and he seems very passionate about the shoes and stuff you know i mean even though some of the stuff that he does or makes isn't necessarily my cup of tea he seems like he's got you know he, he reminds me of the old school kind of crooked tongues forum users right he's really about all about the sneakers but he also one of the rare ones has also all, about the sneakers but also sends, also has a good sense of personal style some of the sneaker heads, especially some of the youtube sneaker reviewer guys like you know they have zero source they just have all expensive trainers and you know well-lit studios i'm not hating just saying the truth um so sean webbs i wonder what's happened with him and nike because i would assume that collaboration would have gone a bit further i did remember seeing a leak of the air max uh nat 197 thing that he done that was in all blue corduroy that didn't end up coming out which is a shame again that air max 197 whatever it was should have won the shoe of the year whatever year that came out that was effective that, that might have been one of the most um successful tier zero shoes that i've seen in a while in terms of seeing regular regular people wearing it i saw so many people in just general people especially um uh female artist types loves wearing like pink pants you know past um teal blue pants and stuff and matching it with their shoes um, again, I saw loads of dudes wearing it, like beating them up, like which is cool to see, really, isn't it? Like, because usually people tend to kind of put their trainers in perspex boxes and stuff, but his shoes really were worn uh, far and wide by a lot of people. But I think they might have come out the same year as Tom Sachs, maybe Miles Jell, so that might have made it a bit of harder competition, but still look cool. But anyway, so the Asics collaboration has been announced. Um, it'll be pretty cool if he's been able to make Asics cool. Um, I still think Asics, for the most part, for most brands, is like the brand that you kind of collaborate with because you're not at the nike level yet you're not on nike or adidas's radar so you're trying to you know you fight over the scraps and most of these brands are happy to collaborate with um with anyone because you know they want some exposure they won't be able to tap into the youth market um they want to kind of um age down their consumer in some regard especially in a6 you probably are selling the majority of your um wares to sports enthusiasts i'm assuming right mostly runners and stuff are wearing or people that or partake in a particular sport maybe i'm not too sure um so it's cool to see them doing this um this is an article from hype pieces the following sean wolverspoon how you pronounce it not wolverspoon wolverspoon right has revealed more images of his collaboration of the gel light free which i mentioned previously is one of my favorite models a model that kind of maybe got me introduced to kind of wearing asics in the first place with a little split tongue i love it um uh, so it's collaborations with a6 and atmos a freeway collaboration which is pretty cool um if you're familiar with if you're a sneakerhead then you know what atmos is uh pedigree is in the game and the collaborations they've done over the years some of the shoes they just have they're able to buy it's just insane anyway, the japanese uh the japanese uh buyers for sneaker stores are just another level from what we have here in the uk the design comes complete with a plethora of customized ascents to match this colorful quadra construction uh, i like the fact that you can t it looks like you can kind of replace bits and pieces of the of the shoe you can put different logos on it you, know, you can tear apart the back bit similar to that do you remember the jeff mcfredridge um vandals the jeff mcfredridge vandals you remember those shoes the ones that you could cut into and kind of burn and stuff is it jeff What's his name? McFred McFredridge Vandals. Is it Vandals? Let me see if I can find them. There was silver. Yeah, they're the ones. I've got them up on the screen. Oh, so good. Jeff, Jeff McFredridge. These were really cool. So it reminds me of that sort of era. So again, you can see like, you know, Sean Wolverine is an actual sneakerhead. He's about this life. So I'm definitely, I'm, he's definitely taken some inspiration from this sort of stuff. Um, that's how it comes brand new in the box. You've got these Vandals that are essentially clean with a little pinstripe material. But then once you take a scalpel to the upper, it reveals all this loveliness underneath, right? So a nice reflective print. You can just kind of go crazy and kind of make them a bit different than what you've seen um, other people use. And, you know, some really cool um, customs have been done with them with people online. So maybe that's what um, Sean Weber's been kind of got his inspiration from. I'm not too sure. But it looked really cool. He's got the addition of a Velcro Essence with Nike. He's done a couple of them too with the Air Forces. And they look really nice. I'm a really big fan of them. I, I, I love the fact that he's owning the Cordray. He's kind of making that cool and contemporary again. I think Noah made a pair of swim shorts. That were, did they make a pair of swim shorts that were Cordray? some nutty thing did they do that i think it might be noah but when i think of cordra i don't feel I, I do think of noah um 
maybe a bit more of a grown up brand. Um, I don't really think of like a you know I, I assume loads of Sean's followers are quite young kids who don't necessarily know that to know that much about Cordray or would be seen dead wearing it. So to see him kind of bringing it back and giving it a little contemporary spin is quite cool and it's a nice fresh take on it. Um, again, Essex collaborations are pretty cool. I like the fact that they use this model. It has different panels. Uh, the app is really interesting, so you can go really crazy with the colorways or go or make something quite conservative. But I like the fact that he's really kind of gone for it. And again, it looks really awesome, man. Um, you've got replaceable laces here, different badges to put on them, different logos, and just an all-out bad boy shoe. Um, we don't have any idea when it's going to come out. Um, Sean Weatherspoon's Instagram caption says the following, at Mossin SW, still early samples, but this has been a dream come true and working with the OG himself, Koji, from um, Atmos himself. So that's amazing. That's probably such a great opportunity. Imagine flying over to flipping Atmos in Japan and having a sit down with them and going through their archive and looking at their offices and seeing what they have. It must have completely blow your mind. So definitely congrats to him. Hopefully we see those shoes released very, very soon. They look incredible. I'm a big fan of what this guy does. And again, one of the most underrated, maybe an underrated and underused um, sneaker collaborator out there. Some people or some brands are able to get, you know, a plethora of deals. But this Sean Web Weatherspoon guy, maybe the Nike thing, they, they sign an exclusivity deal and they kind of put you on ice. But it's been odd to see the fact that he hasn't brought been able to make as many shoes since that thing dropped and again maybe we might this might be the invite the deluge of it but hopefully he does the hiroshi fujiwara stuff and doesn't just commit to one brand and is able to do collaboration with all those different people because i think that's where he's definitely going to differentiate himself and kind of lead the pack that way you could possibly be the reincarnation of mr hiroshi fujiwara you never bloody know stranger things have happened